All right, last night, the first round of the 2023 NFL Draft went down where we saw the top prospects hit the red carpet and they showed off their best fits. New York Post Sports and Entertainment reporter Jenna Lemoncelli, she had her eyes on the red carpet and she joins me now for an NFL Draft fashion recap. Jenna, how much did you enjoy seeing these guys on the red carpet? It's it's my Super Bowl, Dex. Anytime okay. there's a red carpet attached to a sporting event, it is my Super Bowl. So I, I loved it. The guys came dressed to impress and turned heads, to say the least. See, I think what needs to happen, the next NFL draft, even though it's going to be in Detroit, they need to get myself and you out on the red carpet so we can be out there showing our fits. I think that's what needs to happen. That's it. You know, we'll work, I guess. But, you know, <laughs> we, we, we got to show We can out. show them how it's done. We can do a little of that. That's we it. We can show them how it's done. All right, so let's get into it, Jenna, because one of the things that I'm starting to notice when it comes at looking at fashion at the draft, each year I feel like the draftees are they're taking this more and more seriously, and they're really paying attention to the details when it comes to their fits. Were there any details that stood out to you this year when it came to the fits that we saw on the red carpet? Yes, there were so many details. I think I've said this before in other fashion roundups, but I love when athletes, they bring a story with their outfits. They bring something that tells us something about them and peels back some layers because this is the first time we're really meeting them. And th that's exactly what the guys did. And, you know, I have to start right here with Zay Flowers. I mean, this was the one that stood out to me the most. It was heartfelt. It was beautiful. He honored his 14 brothers and sisters and his late mother with his draft fit, okay? He had a diamond pendant that he wore around his neck that had his mother's picture in the middle and surrounding it was 14 petals, obviously representing his siblings. And it was really special that he honored his late mother at the draft because that's how hard he has worked and his family was there to support him and it was super, super nice. A lot of things that I noticed too was that these draftees worked with designers and different artists to create their draft looks. Will Anderson had a custom suit. Um, other guys even worked with Hot Pockets to put satin uh, pieces in their lapels that represented their favorite Hot Pocket uh, flavor that keeps them, of course, fueled on the red carpet. And of course, there was Jordan Addison out of USC who had a standout pink suit with floral patterns, a gold diamond chain, white sunglasses, definitely a standout for me. I did not actually know until we spoke about the Hot Pockets thing. Now we got advertisers trying to get in on the red carpet into the clothing. That's, that's really interesting. I got, got sh Shout out to Hot Pockets, even though they don't sponsor us. But shout out to them for that. That's rather right? interesting there. We're still here. We'll, we'll, we'll take it, though. We'll take it. So there, it. there you go. Um, so I did my top five best fits right after the red carpet on Thursday night. And we're going to get to your outstanding fits. But before we do that, who didn't bring it when it came to this suit game? Who was doing too much on the red carpet, Jenna? You know what? I have to say, nobody really was doing too much. I will say that I was surprised when I saw the guys come out and nobody was really doing anything super crazy or splashy. A lot of guys stuck with custom designs that were deeper colors, a lot of navies. We saw a lot of black, brown, and a lot of guys worked with people on more timid designs, but then when they opened their suit jackets, we saw different types of colorful ideas. Like uh, Christian Gonzalez, who had, he represented his Colombian flag with the colors inside of his suit jacket and said it was a surprise until he entered the draft stage. And then that's when he opened his jacket, of course. But no one really missed the mark for me here i will say unpopular opinion maybe because he's so popular cj cj stroud uh his suit had paint splatters all over it i don't know if i was pretty much feeling it i get the art aspect but i'm just not a paint splatters girl okay no nothing there for cj stroud didn't miss the mark completely but but you didn't love it i hear you i think there were a lot of clean looks for the most part, Clean. and I did I did say this in my video, I really like, because I like to do this with my suit jackets, I like to express what little things you can do inside the lining. That's a good way to add some style to your jacket That's if you right. can, for sure. Got to know about that. Okay, now here's what I want to see. I want to see if we're on the same page here, Jenna, because you didn't watch the video. You tried to find out who I had picked with my top pick here. But out of all the styles that you saw on the red carpet, who brought their A game and had the number one overall fit on draft night? 
Oh, I'm looking at my notes right here because I am stuck between two, of course. Now, I was stuck between Jordan Addison because I love that pink floral suit and I love a good bow tie, which he did have. But you know what? I am going to have to go with, I just loved the way this looked. Um, you know. Come on. You can make the decision. Yeah, I, 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 you can make the decision. I'm, okay. It's not hard. All right. I'm going with, I'm going to go with Bryce Young in head to toe Dior. Mm. This was like a off, like darker pink color, not too bright, but head to toe Dior. I love it from the shoes to the suit jacket, to the pants, the button detail. It was clean, crisp. And it, it flowed nice for me. Okay. So he, I know you wanted to know what I did. Yeah. Bryce I didn't Young, get to watch your video. You should have watched it, but I'm glad you didn't. So but whatever. We could go watch that at NewYorkPost.com. Bryce Young was number four for me. You mentioned okay. the other person before who was number one, which is Jordan Addison. I liked what he did with the pink. You know, he had a little bit of the ice on. I liked the floral detail in the suit. I thought it was, I thought, I thought he brought it, Jordan Addison. And you know where Jordan Addison started his collegiate career, which was at the great University of Pittsburgh, which I happen to love, as people may know. But yeah, That's I'd right. say Bryce Young was a good, he made my top five. I love the, I love the clean look. I love the color. Okay. It was great. So yeah, we, 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 we were there. We were almost there. Not quite. We were almost there. there. You know what? A lot of people might be surprised with my Bryce pick, but the theme of the draft for me was clean, sleek looks. No I one agree. went over the top too much. It was all about the diamonds or who had a custom piece that they had worked with a huge designer on. No flashiness, really. And I yep. liked that. I liked the clean look. And Bryce is a humble guy. The look fit him. That's, that's what matters. You want to see the fits? That fit. We saw a lot of that at the 2023 NFL draft before the first round as everybody hit the red carpet. That is Jenna. Lemoncelli, always bringing the best fit, best articles in sports and entertainment in New York City. Jenna, always good to talk a little fashion, sports, and entertainment with you here. Thank you for your time. Appreciate you. Appreciate you.